there, my darlings. Happy Friday to you and welcome to a speed build. Yes, it is. Just a really short little speed build today using some wonderful custom content. Custom content that I've used before. So if you've got my Google Doc, you should be able to download this and get this into your game. But if not, I will leave a link down to everything down below. Yes, I, yes, I will indeed. But anyway, welcome to the modern cottage. I am building on a 30 by 20 lot over in the world of Henford on Bagley. This is where the pub, the pub that I built for the expansion, may I add, this is where that lot usually is. And I was like, do you know what? I've never tried a residential lot here. So that's what I've been and gone and done. And I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I decided on building a modern cottage, a cottage, a small, it's, it's tiny, it's one bedroom, one bathroom, and it's got a lovely living area and a kitchen and dining room. And it's got lots of outdoor space as well, the pool, it's very, very nice indeed. And I got inspired actually by a house that I saw on a estate agent website and it was for sale. It was in Oxfordshire. I can't remember um, whereabouts it was in Oxfordshire, but it was this beautiful modern cottage that had this big wraparound walled in moment. And it was just gorgeous. It had lots of windows up in the eaves of the actual roof line. And I decided I wanted to do that. So that's what I've been and gone and done today. And I'm very happy of it. It came out very, I'm in my neutral era at the minute. You guys must know this because it's been going on for months now. So this cottage is very soft and warm, but still very modern, contemporary with a little bit of a rustic edge. Um, so I obviously use my favorite CC pack in the world. And that is Organic from Felixander and Harry. And it comes together really nicely in this place. It really, really does. So you guys are going to be absolutely spoiled for choice. Yes, you will indeed. But anyway, I'm pre-recording this. I am actually down in Cornwall somewhere recording my next vlog that will be out next week sometime. So if you guys haven't checked out any, any of my other vlogs before, it's a series on the channel that I am pushing back into um, for this summer and spring and it's called Discover Me Devon. And what we do is go around to all of these lovely places near where I live, but also other places in the UK, hopefully soon. Um, and we get inspiration. We get inspiration from the architecture around there and we just explore the area together. And then what I do is come back and build it for you guys or build something from that trip for you guys. Now, this trip here is going to be um, just straight released out for all of you guys. But the next trips, what I'm actually going to be doing is setting up a Patreon. And my Patreon or my Patreons will get early access to these videos. Plus videos that won't be put up on YouTube, which will be extra build series and that kind of thing. So if you're going to be interested in that, just keep an eye out on my channel and my socials over the next coming months or couple months. And you will see me start to advertise my actual Patreon. Um, so I'm very excited about this. I've never set up a Patreon before. It's always kind of, I don't know. I've always been a bit weird about setting up a Patreon. I don't know why, <laughs> but I'm going to go for it this time. So many of you have asked me to do this. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, very much looking forward to it. Yes, I'm a date. So I did this little like board hedge thing that you just saw me playing around with out on the front here. Um, and that was because in the actual uh, advertisement, for or listing for the house that was for sale. It had those like topiary board bushes at the front and it just looked really nice. So I wanted to kind of copy that. Now this house doesn't look exactly like the house. I just got inspiration from the roof line and the surrounding courtyard garden. The rest of it, I just completely made up myself and I was very happy with it. Use a lot of windows from the Spoons or Harry's uh, Spoons collection and they just came together really nicely on this house. They really did. I used that brownstone wall as well on the actual exterior of the cottage. But the surrounding ones, I think, are all, or like the wall, wallpapers are all from Organic. And these wonderful eve windows here as well that I put up on the roof line. Now, sadly, I knocked out the ceiling to the bedroom. This is where the bedroom is on the top level. I knocked out the ceiling for, to this so you could see like the eaves and stuff. And you guys know what the lighting looks like underneath the roof line. It's bloody awful. So we need to, we need to use our imaginations when it comes to the actual bedroom itself, the tour and whatnot. Um, and just pretend that that is a gorgeous white ceiling and not a horrible, dirty, shadowy grey. Um, which, as you guys will know if you are builders, that's what 
happens when you look underneath the roof lines in The Sims 4 10 years into the game. Fantastic job. So, I wanted like a canopy area. I wanted a sheltered area just out from where the living room is, where those bifold doors are, where I was putting the bifold doors in. So, you saw me put that like roof panel over the top there. And I put underneath of it, I put a dining table. And over on the other side, I'll show you in a sec once we get there. Um, I used those wooden kind of like slat um, roof pieces that we got with Desert Lux. And I put them up on the side of there. But I'll talk a bit more about that when we get to the actual garden. So this is another little wing to the house. This is where I really wanted to like make it my own. So this is where the kitchen and dining room area goes. But the shape of this does change slightly. I actually make this build even a little bit longer so I can fit in a toilet at the end. And the toilet's got like a lovely doubled glass door le leading out to the courtyard garden. And also an outside shower. I wanted to use an outside shower on this um, build. Uh, so that's what I did. That's what I did. Now this is me changing the roof line as well. I really wanted a skylight because I was trying to make the most of all of these views that it's got going out here. It's a very secluded private cottage but I still wanted them to have all of this like natural light flooding in and the views surrounding it because you are literally right up against the canal. Um, the bedroom gets the best of the views but you can see the canal from the living room and the kitchen as well architecturally i wanted that to happen so i did do that yes i did and it came together really nicely i think it did anyway so you'll have to let me know down below yes you will and i won't be answering these comments just yet because as i said i am gallivanting around in cornwall vlogging our next adventure together and i'm very excited very excited indeed uh i can't wait to show you guys around really really excited so this is where i started thinking oh this would be a good place to put in a toilet so that is what i ended up doing i widened the the actual wall made the grounds a little bit bigger and then i went ahead and put in a toilet just off of the kitchen area um very common in english cottages and i kind of wanted to make that apparent in this build but go in for a bit more of a modern feel of it and i was very happy with it I didn't do an inside shower in this bathroom, interestingly. I actually make a canopy. You'll see it in a bit. I, I make a canopy outside the toilet and we do an outside shower. Not that clever in the UK because, as you know, the UK does have quite cold weather here and there. Um, so I wouldn't want to go outside all the time having a shower because that would be... I'd be fuming. I really would. <laughs> if I was in a hotter climate, I'd be loving it. So this is what I was on about with those... Um, uh well desert lux kind of i don't know what you would call them awning yeah it's an awning isn't it those like bamboo awnings i put it over that area because i still wanted to have this garden having a little bit of shade and a little bit more privacy but without kind of like a solid roof so i use them and then i put sun lounges and stuff around it and i also use these bathroom kind of like wall um wooden details i don't know what you would call them and i put these all around the sides of the actual garden wall just in the area where the dining room is or the dining area is because it just adds a little bit of texture and i really really liked i really liked seeing that so yeah anyway gorgeous gorgeous uh table there from felixander i think that might have been no i'm not even going to try and say what pack that's from from one of his packs i'll link it down below and those chairs as well absolutely gorgeous wanted them outside using the barbecue from the uh desert looks pack as well stunning things and these lovely sun loungers with separate kind of cushions um from felixander again can't remember what pack they're from but they're bloody gorgeous and i've flopped them in and yeah we do a little pool a little lap pool just on the edge of the courtyard and yeah it was very nice we can pretend this is heated so they can get in and out quite nicely but uh it just it just came together really nicely i think and all of these calm like stone natural earth tones throughout this house it just made it feel very inviting, especially in the actual interiors. The interior just feels warm and cosy, it really does. Now, these bifold doors are coming straight out from the kitchen. I try and make the bathroom a little bit more private as well by putting a lemon tree and a pot in front of it. And I just put these plants around in the actual center of the courtyard just to kind of give a feeling of separation. And I think it came together. And I put the two chairs and table there because it'd be nice to have your breakfast out here. I can imagine coming out from the kitchen and just sitting down having a cup of coffee in the morning absolutely beautiful and a few planters here as well so they can get to grow in their herbs and whatnot and then over in this little corner here i decided i'm putting in one of those lovely chairs i love these wicker chairs my mum and my, all my parents used to have two of these when i was younger um and i always remember sitting in it 
they're very fashionable back then. They seem to have came back um, around and I like them. I do. I think they're gorgeous. But um, yeah, that's enough me talking about a bloody chair for goodness sake. So we're into the living room. This is going to be the living room here. Very open plan downstairs. Um, using my favourite sofas, the hipster hugger sofa from Harry and Felix. I, well, it's my favourite ever sofa I've ever seen, CC wise or any otherwise. I would have this sofa in my house in a heartbeat. Um, I just love it. I really love how it just looks so cosy, but still like really clean, minimal and stylish as well. Just love them. Really, really do. I want to know where they got the inspiration from that because I am actually looking for a new sofa as we speak. Um, but yeah, pretty self-explanatory. You can see the kind of shades and stuff we're going for in here. It's very neutral. I do pop a little bit of like texture and color in with cushions and things like that. But predominantly, I'm in my neutral era loves. So that's where we're going to go. In the summer, I'm going to change from a neutral era and we're gonna go a little I, I think i want to go down a bit more of a richer still earth tones but i want to go richer with it next time maybe skip start using some blues and whatnot oh i know how to live don't i <laughs> but i think that would um i don't know i think that would be really cool love the little window seat that i was doing as well with that um organic uh bench seat i love that just by that little kind of um portrait window portrait landscape landscape window um that looks straight out into the canal i just thought it'd be a lovely place to sit down with a book there and knows that people walking past and whatnot very nice indeed yes it was very nice and i ended up putting in a little bookshelf from charlie pancakes over to the left of it um and oh, it just just looks lovely lovely little nook i can imagine the smell of this house as well for some reason this house i could imagine are you one of those people you look at someone and you imagine what it smells like or tastes like I mean, you can't taste the house, but you, you can it's, you can smell it. I reckon it's very like, I don't know. The, uh, if it was a candle, it would be called something stupid like ocean breeze. <laughs> what what does that mean when you buy a candle? Do you know what I mean? You may as well just call one fanny fluff and be over and done with it, to be honest with you, wouldn't you? I mean, Gwyneth Paltrow would be, <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow's candle would be called fanny fluff. We are stopping this conversation right now. We're moving into the kitchen. We are using Felix's London kitchen, which is probably one of my favourite kitchens of all time, custom content wise. I just love it. It's clean. It's gorgeous. You can fit it in modern and um, rustic homes. I just think it fits all of them. And I love the kind of like wooden um, bench top. I think it's very, very nice and do just test. I was going to do a counter on this side, but I fought against it and used a bench table instead. I think it just opened up the space quite nicely. Um, but still feeling, I still wanted the dining room to have some feeling of separation. So that's why you're seeing these kind of like big beams um, over the counter there. It just gives a little bit of separation from each room, even though the room is completely open. Um, yeah, that is my logic and I'm going with it. Thank you. But very nice. I was very, I'm very pleased how this came together. Very quick and easy speed build this was. It just kind of flowed from me because once I use custom content, it's all in my own tastes and style. It makes it so much easier really really does so this is the bedroom up to the bedroom level you can see i've already put those wooden panels over on the wall just again to add a little bit of texture i end up going a little bit lighter up here but i also end up going a little bit darker that sounds weird but i mix in some darker wood tones by use of um some different furniture pieces and the top of those lamps as well the mirror i go slightly darker with but down the bottom of the bed i end up putting a coffee table there i saw in an uh, interior design magazine they had this like gorgeous dark coffee table at the bottom of a bed with loads of books on it just looked really lovely and i liked the contrast between all of them i really did over to this corner here i was like do you know what they would probably want to make the most of these views looking out from the canal so i put in a little um chair with a footstool just a footstool a footstool um and yeah very happy with how that came out i can't remember where that table that coffee table's from but i'm sure it's from harry and felix i just can't remember um, which pack it came with so I'm not very much of a good help am I now there are double glass doors as well out into a balcony area from this bathroom that I do put another lounge chair out there and also some, an area for your sims to do yoga with well oh yeah in there no idea um and I was just very much for it very much for it today now this is me actually doing the shower as well I do the shower outside of the bathroom and um, so I end up doing it using a new roof piece and then just using a 
um, outdoor shower out there and some panels again to just give a, a bit more privacy to this otherwise very exposed bathroom but that's it thank you so much for watching this my loves i hope you hope i hope you hope i hope you have the most wonderful weekends i will be back on tuesday um with another video i don't know what that's going to be just yet so just keep your eye out for it um that's it have a lovely weekend and i'll see you all again next week goodbye